All right, guys, welcome back. Schofield Welding here. Guys, we're super excited right now. We're getting ready to tie into a two inch flange into a, uh, a six inch pup with an OLED in it or a thread OLED in it. Uh, this weld right now is going to be a 332 gap, eighth inch, 5P plus, 6010 root. Now, a lot of guys will run a 532. Uh, 7010 hot pass, but for me, I like keeping the bevels as narrow as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and run a an eighth inch rod, 7010 series rod into it, and then we're going to LH cap this thing. Now we're going to try to put on the slickest cap we can put on. So I hope everybody enjoys. Stay tuned, and make sure that you guys subscribe to Schofield Welding, Weld Tube, and South Coast Welding Academy. Hit the notification so that anytime we upload a video, you guys are informed. Everybody have a great rest of your day. <laughs> Okay. All right, you guys, we're back on the rollout wheel. Mostly because this is what I do a lot of. It's such a little piece that it would make no sense to weld it in position. So it's, it's easier to roll out. And all right, now we're coming into this other tack. So all we have right here is just an eighth inch 5P plus, 332 gap, probably 332 landing, pretty close. It's just a two inch schedule 80 with a 150 pound flange on it. Oh man, yeah, that went in good. So we're gonna we're gonna hurry, grind this up a little bit. We're gonna go into the hot pass, which is gonna be an eighth inch 7010 series rod. Let's go ahead and get this one welded together. So we're gonna LH cap this thing. It's gonna be a 332 cap. So LH is a stacking dude, so you don't really need to overfill this, just kind of hot pass it, get it almost flushed out, and then we're going to go ahead and cap it. Sometimes being a little hotter in a windy situation is going to help control that puddle. Okay, so we're tied in. Let's go ahead, we're gonna buff this thing off, then we're gonna use a 332 LH, so a 7018 rod, and we're gonna throw a cap on this. All right, you guys, we're gonna go ahead, run the 332 LH 7018. It's gonna be about 100 amps, and we're gonna do it all right here in, uh, in a rollout situation, so Hopefully, as long as everything goes great, it's gonna slick out just real nice. So I like to kind of use that rollout wheel in my advantage and I kind of keep that puddle kind of on that offside to where it's stacking real hard, stacking real heavy. Now some companies, depending on the spec, guys, a lot of this has to do with the spec on if you're going to LH from the root out or if you can just put an LH cap on it, whatever, all right? So make sure that you got the specs, you know what the specs are, you know what their procedures are, and you should be all right. And we're going to go ahead and kind of knock this slag off a little, give us a clean tie-in. 
we're gonna finish this weld out. Now I'm gonna pause, let that sit there for a sec, pull off of it. All right, you guys, like I said, every now and then it works out real nice on a camera, all right? Right now, now not all the time are you gonna be able to do that. Like I said, check your procedures, make sure everything's kosher with your inspector and the way they wanna do it. Hopefully everybody enjoyed. Hope that you guys were able to pick up on a few things, little tips, little ideas, little tricks, and uh, hoping that it's gonna help you out in the future. Guys, be sure to subscribe, Schofield Welding, Weld Tube, South Coast Welding Academy. Hit the notification button. That way, anytime there's a video uploaded, you guys are some of the first to get it, all right? Everybody have a great rest of your night. Be blessed, and we'll talk to you later. See ya.